21 millimeter socket, take off all five of your lug nuts. And remove the wheel. With a 12 millimeter, remove this bolt here. And sometimes the ABS sensor gets really stuck in there. For me, it's actually loose um, and it's also broken. But if it's not loose for you, if it's stuck, you can spray it with some rust penetrant and then grab it with pliers right here, give it a few twists, work it back and forth, and eventually it should pop out of the knuckle. Next, I'm gonna pop it out of the strut here. And there's another clip in the back that's gonna have to get popped up, pull it through, and one last retainer, remove that. And before I disconnect it from inside the engine compartment, I'm just gonna route the new one so that it's ready to go in when I connect it. So this is the connector for the new one. I'm gonna clip it in here, bring it down, make sure it's going the right way, clip it into right here, and over here, I'm just gonna put just a little bit of grease on the um, on the base here, you don't, not a lot, and you don't have to do this, but this helps it not season to the knuckle in the future. And yeah, you can take it, slide it into its uh, hole here, make sure it goes down all the way. Let's put the bolt in. Now take your bolt, slide it through, and let's thread it on. Let's make sure it's nice and tight. Now I'm gonna snug it up. You don't have to go too tight on this. Um, it can easily break, but you know, once it's bottomed out, this is nice and uh, flush mounted. Now let's go connect it up top. So if you look in the engine compartment between the battery and the air intake, the ABS sensor connector is right there. That's the connection that we're after. And I pulled it out of the fender well here, that grommet, and it's hard to see, but I'm just gonna reach in and disconnect it. Locking tab is. Once I get this out, perfect, that's disconnected. So what I did is I pressed my thumb on this, that unlocks this. Take the new one, slide it through. Now we'll take the two ends of the wire, press it on, make sure it clicks. And I'm gonna pull it through, make sure I put that grommet on, prevent water from getting into the engine bay. Let's get the wheel back on. Start on all five of your lug nuts, snug them up, and then torque them to 83 foot-pounds.